Hello everyone, my name is Christian Fortu and I'm a professional violinist based in Los Angeles, California. You can see my initial review on my channel and there should be a link in the description below. So I find these strings extremely durable, they have a very good mechanical tonal lifespan. Overall, I find these strings dark, focused, quite powerful. It's a sound that fills the room. I would encourage you to experiment with different E's, which I find they have a lot of purity of color. I did notice that these strings feel slightly harder under the finger compared to regular dominants or other strings out there. That doesn't bother me, but I've heard colleagues complaining about it. Tomas Picasso was kind enough to send me the other options they offer with the set, and here are some thoughts about the other strings in this line. So we're talking about four different E's, one steel chrome A and two different B's. Uh, first one, it's the tin E, which is called DP01. It's the standard E that comes with the set. Uh, it works well, barely whistles, and it's well balanced. It's the first E I tried when I got the strings. Uh, next one, uh, it's my personal favorite. It's their gold plated E, it's called DP01AU. Uh, I've tried and used it in the recording you will be hearing along with this video. It's clear, warm and brilliant. It works very well for my style of playing and for the instrument. Uh, the next one, the third option, is called DP01PT. It's uh, plated with platinum. It has great projections and uh, offers more resistance to bow pressure. Very brilliant. I would say it's the, the, the loudest E out of all the options they offer. Uh, and then there is one more tin E, which is called DP01SN. It's the warmest sounding E out of all four options. Uh, I think it has the lowest tension out of all, which balances differently the rest of the strings in the set, resulting into an increased sound radiance. Uh, then we have the Steel Chrome uh, A, it's called DP02B. It's very fast response, high dynamic range, a range, a very rich sounding for a steel core string. Uh, for us, uh, growing up in Eastern Europe or in Russia, uh, most of us uh, played steel strings uh, as, as students, so it's nice to see that uh, you know, high-end companies such as Tomastic uh, offer uh, steel strings options these days. And then there are the two different Ds I was mentioning uh, that come in two flavors. Uh, one is uh, with silver, one is with aluminum. They are called DP03 and DP03A. Uh, the silver one makes this D powerful with a great deal of modulation capacity, and the alumin aluminum is more brilliant sounding. It's slightly larger, thicker in diameter, and has a more direct response than the silver D, I would say. Uh, so here you, here you have it, few thoughts on the other options Tomastic offers with the Dominant Pro Violin Strings line. If you have any thoughts or uh, personal experience with the strings, please drop me a comment in the section below. It's always interesting to read other opinions. Thanks for watching and keep on playing. Thank you.